To be born in a free society and not be born free is to be born into a lie, wrote author James Baldwin of his Harlem upbringing. Certainly every major ethnic group in New York has suffered through and overcome their times of oppression on their road to fulfilling the American dream. But for black New Yorkers who have faced much prejudice and racism, it has been much more of a long and arduous struggle. There were blacks in New York before the British, before the Irish, before the Italians, before anyone Jewish or Catholic arrived. Yet blacks were the last to become full citizens of New York. The history of New York's blacks is one of struggle and triumph. The first black New Yorker was believed to be Jan Rodriguez, a free black sailor for the Dutch Fur Trading Company left alone on Manhattan Island to live and trade with the Indians in 1613. In 1625, more blacks arrived in New Amsterdam involuntarily, when the West India Company imported slaves from Africa to help build the city. The slaves are the, the first municipal workforce. They are, really provide the labor to uh, take what was at one point just Native American trails, narrow trails, and widen them. The road that we know most famously is Broadway was widened by the slave workers. They also cleared the shoreline so that the ships could come in. Uh, they cleared the land for the houses. They also cleared the land for the, uh, the farms. The area that we know is Harlem in Manhattan today was once the Harlem Forest. And it's really the slave labor that cleared the, uh, the lumber and the timber from the uh, from the Harlem Forest. New York City was settled first by the Dutch. They were active in the slave trade, just as the English and the French and many other European powers. It was interesting in, on Manhattan Island, however, that the Dutch actually allowed a portion of the slave population to be free. Uh, that has an interesting um, way that it developed. It developed primarily because of the wars between the Dutch and the Indians. Uh, in 1643, there was a major campaign by the Dutch to really just eradicate the Indians. And what happened was the Indians fought back and they started to burn all the farms north of Wall Street. The Dutch freed 11 slaves, 11 male slaves and their wives, and allowed them, gave them grants of farmland north of Wall Street. Uh, it's an area that became known as the Negro frontier or the land of the blacks. Uh, the free blacks of New Amsterdam actually settled in the area that we now know today as Chinatown, Little Italy, Soho, Greenwich Village. At one point, they owned the land uh, right up the center portion of Manhattan Island, uh, actually as, north, as far north as the Empire State Building. The land under the Empire State Building was once owned by a free black farmer. So that, that's, a, that's actually a unique condition in American colonial history, where you've got a period of time where there, where there is a free black population. 